Right now, students at three Jacksonville high schools are back in the classroom, and there is more security in the wake of that deadly shooting at Reigns High School's football game against Lee. Yeah, it was Friday night. 19-year-old Gerard Adams was shot and killed outside the Reigns Stadium. He was a former Reigns High School student. News for Jack's reporter Crystal Moyer is live uh, from outside the school. Crystal, the day was certainly off to, to a different start, sadly. That's right, Jed and Bruce. Right now, you can see behind me, there's a lot more police presence, not only from the school district, but you can see a Jacksonville Sheriff's Office cruiser just pulled up here in front of the school. The students right now are actually inside an assembly. Just moments ago, I spoke to a school district spokesperson. He says the assembly is being led by the principal just to remind students of their role in keeping the school safe. If they see something, to say something. Also about social media. You know, if they see anything suspicious on social media, to talk to an adult or even police about it. They do have counselors on site to help some of their students uh, through this very tragic incident that happened. Also, each student as they are walking into school today, we saw a bunch of them kind of hanging out outside the school. It took a lot longer for them to get inside because there was they were all being wanted by metal detectors. The, all their backpacks are being checked as they're going through the school, so they're obviously taking a lot more safety precaution this morning. So again, thousands of people were leaving the Reigns High football stadium when shots rang out. A 19-year-old was killed, a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old were hurt, but they're expected to be okay. I caught up with some students on the way to class this morning, and they have mixed feelings on school safety. I just thought it was sad, depressing. I was glad I didn't go though. Yeah. Do you feel safe at school or do you think they need to do more to increase safety? I mean, I do believe they need to get more security guards and stuff. Okay? It is easy to get weapons and stuff on campus. We were in shock basically because after a football game, who would want to come out of that? So. Do you feel safe going into school today? Yeah, I feel safe. Knowing that they, they're doing what they're doing, I feel safe. So you can see live, there are quite a few officers at the front door of Reigns High School. Some of the students still kind of filing in. Some of them saying they didn't want to come to school today because they were afraid that something was going to happen. Now, in that deadly shooting Friday, the gunman still hasn't been caught. JSO says it might have been gang related, but they want people to speak up. If they know something, they want them to contact police or call Crime Stoppers at 866-845-TIPS. As far as the school district goes, they are having an executive meeting and is expected they're expected to brief us around 4 p.m. today, so we'll keep you updated on what they spoke about. Reporting live, Krista Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.